Hi everyone. Happy International Day of the Girl. We're gonna connect with um, CARE and chat with them today. If I can find them or figure out how this works. But basically, um, today is International Day of the Girl, and we're gonna discuss with this incredible woman, Madhu, who's worked with CARE for 13 years, we're gonna discuss how we can help young women. We're just gonna wait for CARE. How are you guys doing? Let's see. Hi, Joel, I see you. Let's see. Thanks, Joel. And if you can donate, you can donate to help. CARE is an incredible organization, but if not, just learning about how you can help and spreading the word, and um, that's just as, as great. And in the meantime, while we wait, Wow, uh, thank you guys for donating already. I appreciate that. Let's see. Care is unable to join. <laughs> well, you're supposed to be chatting with Care. Let's try again. Here they are. Hi. Hi, Madhu. This is incredible, Madhu. She's been working with her for 13 years. She's worked on um, uh, making sure that girls can get an education. Oh, we lost her. We may have some technical issues, but she's an incredible woman when she joins back in. Um, she has worked on um, education and making sure that young women get educations, equal rights. Um, she's helped during the pandemic, making sure that women have access to computers and phones and ways that they can go to class because all of schools shut down. Um, so she's a really incredible woman, and she's going to talk to us about how we can help. Let's try again. Hmm. Now they've declined. <laughs> it might just be me, guys. So I'm going to try one more time, and then we can just chat just us. Um, thank you guys for the donations. Um, I'm going to try one more time. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening, Anna. Oh, no. Okay. Um, this is sort of par for the course with Instagram Live. There's always, like, a technological. But thank you for doing this and chatting with us. So I was just saying how incredible you are. And um, also we had a brief chat the other day and how I was shocked to learn just, you know, how many people don't have access to um, an education, that their lack of 
ability to get their hands on computers or phones. Sometimes families can afford to purchase these devices. They end up going into um, uh, boys' hands, which is great. Then there is a little bit of inequity for young women. And um, we all know during the pandemic, especially, you access education online and you go to class online. And um, so then there's this whole chunk of young women who have just missed out on education. Um, so for you and your experience, because you know so much more about this, what in your experience are other potential impacts of, of women not being able to, um, obviously we know how much of a challenge not to have an education, but not having the devices and not being able to go to school. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Alex, and thanks for having us uh, join you in this conversation. Um, you know, as you rightly said, you know, there's uh, so much, so many of us take for granted uh, in terms of our access to uh, information technology and our devices. You know, there's not even probably a minute we can live without it sometimes. And yet, as you rightly said, um, there's so many people around the world who either don't have that connectivity or are denied the um, access to its uh, use, access to the information technology, uh, access to let alone the ownership of certain devices. And I will say more girls than boys uh, because we have seen in many parts of the world that it's because of either there's preference for sons uh, over girls, unfortunately, or it's uh, what we expect the girls to do in terms of the roles they have to play, or um, just in terms of, um, you know, not valuing their uh, aspirations, their talent. Um, and COVID-19 has actually ex further exacerbated some of these gaps and challenges, Alex. So let me speak to three key impacts that we have seen on the girls because of missing out on education and uh, access to digital uh, information and technology. The first is that it's very likely that this girl will, um, um, will drop out of school and will get married early. So we have seen a rise in early marriages. So uh, in one of the communities where CARE works in Malawi, we have seen that the uh, um, marriages in adolescent girls has gone up by 100% in 2020 in comparison to 2019. So we are seeing a rise in the early marriages of girls. The second impact that uh, we have seen is that this girl becomes far more vulnerable to sexual violence, sexual assault and abuse because she now has lost the connectivity with her social network, with her social support in the community, or even accessing services like just hotline, or if she wants to report a particular abuse. Um, we have seen in some of the countries like um, South Sudan, Central Africa region, and Yemen, that the, there has been an increase in reporting of um, uh, cases on uh, sexual violence, abuse, and early marriage. So that's definitely on the rise. And the third impact, and last but not the least, um, I will say is, um, you know, it, it is about the girls, it, it impacts the girls' ability to learn new skills, and therefore the opportunities for having uh, tech-enabled jobs in the future. So it's really stifling her ability to uh, explore her full potential, and therefore her aspirations. And as we keep these impacts uh, in mind, um, Alex, we are all watching the situation in Afghanistan and what it would mean for the education of the girls and for their hopes and for their dreams. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, my heart is so, so lucky to have in, had access to all of these things. Um, I can't even imagine what like and how helpless you would feel not to, as a young woman, have the freedom to get education or, uh, or you know, protect yourself. Um, so, um, yeah, it breaks my heart. And, um, you know, it's, it, 
amazing what your organization, what you were doing for uh, young women in different countries. That um, that's where the donations are going towards. And if you can't donate, that's fine. Ways just spread the word and learn about this. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. Um, so how your experience uh, has putting these devices and helping young connectivity, how, how, uh, how have their lives been impacted? Do you have any examples of how um, tangible this kind of thing could be? Absolutely, Alex. And there's so many stories of hope and opportunities, and they're all so inspiring and uplifting. But uh, let me uh, sort of share a story of this young girl, uh, Sakhi. She's an 11-year-old girl from a very poor family in one of the communities in India. Uh, and Sakhi is, goes to the government school, and she was always very excited and curious about computers. So when CARE rolled out uh, our STEM program in these schools in this area, where we were using the computers to teach math and science to the children in the schools, um, Saki was thrilled. She was so excited to even press this one key on the keyboard of the computer when she saw the computer and took to its learning. Um, and today, Alex, she can actually develop her own animation videos on the computer. And not only that, uh, because of her computer skills and the fact that she had the access to uh, learn science and math from the computer, uh, she is an expert and excels in applying mathematical concepts and mathematical coordinates. She's participated in science, um, 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 in, you know, the, the, the events and competitions at various levels and has won so many awards. So when you talk to Saki, it's amazing how she will tell you that computer has actually changed her life. Uh, uh, it's, you know, about who she is today, how she has learned and how she interacts with the world. And to me, Alex, this story really exemplifies the courage, the resilience, and dare I say the audacity and the leadership of the girl to achieve her full potential when the right kind of skills and right kind of support is provided to her. So this story has always stuck with me. That's great. Um, I'm just, I'm so inspired by what you guys do. And um, to everyone watching, thank you for donating. Um, I'm, Hair is just an incredible organization. And one of the other incredible things about them is um, you can spread the word. Or, uh, if you want to support Care website, learn more. They just, they're in basically... So they have support systems and groups of people helping uh, young women and people in all over the world empower themselves. And um, they are providing resources to people all over the world for all different kinds. These things are all interconnected education, women's rights, um, all that stuff. So it's a really incredible organization. Um, and um, I've basically question I was going to ask you, but how a care supporter can help support care, but might be, that's essentially it, right? Absolutely. And thank you for calling that out, Alex. Uh, I feel that, uh, you know, the care supporters here can be part of this change in two ways. The first is um, just raising awareness and educating themselves and being more sensitive about what is that one girl in my family, in my community, or even beyond my community? Um, what does she need? What does she dream to become? What does she aspire? And therefore, what tools that, you know, what opportunities uh, does she need? Um, and it's about just being sensitive to uh, not just the challenges, but also the opportunities um, for, for the girls around us and, you know, so many girls around the world. And the second then is to lend your voice, lend your support, as you rightly said, uh, through collective action uh, and to be part of this meaningful change. Um, and you know, there's so many different stories and one can learn so much about the opportunities as well as um, 
sort of ways in which CARE has been doing this work on our website, uh, care.org. Great. Um, well, thank you. I'm very inspired. Um, thank you for chatting with us, everyone watching. You guys learned something. I hope you guys are inspired. Um, I encourage you to um, read more and, you know, do what you can to, um, to learn more about this. And you can donate. I have uh, the donate button in the bio. Um, but just go to their website and learn more. And thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you so much, Alex, for um, having us uh, in this chat with you and for being a support to so many young women and girls around the world. Thank you. And happy to girl, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.